Our reading story today is Rules of the Wild, an unruly book of manners. Manners are actually unwritten rules for good and kind behavior, such as like saying please and thank you, covering your mouth when you sneeze or you cough, not interrupting people who are talking. And there are a lot of manners that go along with eating meals together, you know, like chewing with your mouth closed and saying, excuse me, if you burp at the table, don't use your shirt sleeve as a napkin, those kinds of things. So this is going to be a little bit about some of those rules or um, manners. Um, our genre today is fantasy. And that means that the people, the animals, or the objects can do things in this story that they would not be able to do in real life. And things that are happening are not things that could happen in the real world. The essential question that I want you to think about is, what would it be like without rules? What would it be like without manners? All right, we are going to be using the comprehension strategies of asking and answering questions and also making connections. When you ask, ask questions and answer questions while you read. You're just checking your understanding, making sure that you understand what you're reading and focusing on uh, what, the, what you're reading and answering those questions like the who, the what, the where, the when, the why, the how, um, and also making connections, connect your own experiences to what's happening in the story or to a different story. Um, and that helps you understand how the character is feeling in the story. So let's go ahead and read Rules of the Wild and Unruly Book of Manners by Bridget Levin, illustrated by Amanda Shepard. If your mom had a tail or your father a mane, the rules of your house might not be such a pain. All right, so after I read this section, what questions might I have? Do you notice anything about the sounds on this page? Hmm, it sounds like it might be a rhyming book, right? Because you hear words like uh, main and pain. Hmm. Mother Piggy would say, eat whatever you like. Father, Father Fruit Bat declare, you can stay up all night. Mother Dolphin would nod, splashing is fine. Father Lion exclaim, that roar sounds divine. Okay, so now that we've read a little bit further, what questions might you have? I know I hear more rhyming words that we talked about before, but what's happening in this story? They're, they're giving you the what ifs. What if your, you know, your, your mother was a pig? What if your father was a fruit bat? How would your behavior change? And on this page, page 48, it would be if you were a lion, if your parents were lions, he would say your roar sounds divine. But what if you're running around your house roaring like a lion? Mom would probably tell you to quiet down, right? So the rules would be different if our parents were in the animal kingdom. If your mom was cold-blooded, your dad tended to drool, would you mind all your manners? Would you follow the rules? Mother Snake wouldn't scold. Don't leave clothes on the floor. Father Camel wouldn't huff. Please don't spit anymore. Mother Groundhog would say, sure, go play in the dirt. Father Elephant declares, on your mark, get set. Squirt! If your parents were four-legged or had wings, tails, or tusks, would you know all the mustn'ts? Would you know all the musts? Now, here's an unknown word, so I should stop and ask myself a question here. Um, mustn'ts, that you see right here, means must-nots. All right? Would you know all the things that you shouldn't do, all the things that you must not do? and all the things that you must do. Mother cow wouldn't urge, chew with your mouth closed, my dear. Father walrus wouldn't fuss, we don't burp around here. Mother grizzly would yawn, sure, sleep all winter long. Hey, you know what? That's a good time to make a connection because I'm thinking back to our animal unit when we talked about some of the animals that might hibernate. 
all winter long. So sure, if you were a grizzly bear, you could sleep all winter long. Father Raccoon would, would say, fine, dunking food isn't wrong. But if your father wears clothing and your mother does too, you know how to behave. You know just what to do, don't you? All right. So if you were answering that um, author's questions, what would you say? I bet you would say yes, that you definitely know how to behave and you understand all of the rules that we talked about and how they would change if your mother and father were in the animal kingdom. And on this page it says, but if your mother wear, if your father wears clothing and your mother does too. So if your mother and your father are people, the rules are different than they would be in the animal kingdom. I will make sure that I include all of the discussion starters so that you can talk about how the rules would be different depending on who your parents are um, with your big person.